Hey guys, Brenda and Chef Jeremy here with Launch My Health. Welcome to another episode of Rapid Fire Friday. We're so excited to be here. Thank you for joining us. And without any further ado, Brenda, you ready? Yes. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little right. nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. We're going to rock and roll. Ready? Our foot's on the pedal today. Here we go. Question number one for Brenda. Oh, and I should say, we, we're going to do the first thing that comes to mind and then quick one sentence why. Cool? Cool. Okay. So everybody knows that Brenda loves food and cooking and all that goes along with it. Uh, but what some people might not know is that Brenda's also really into physical fitness. So you can only do one type of physical fitness for one week. Is it cardio or is it lifting? Definitely cardio. And the reason is it is easier for me. So it's easier. Okay. It's easier. I'm working out at urban iron right now. And it is, it's, I mean, it, it's killing me. It's nice. killing me. <laughs> That's the point though, I think. Right. 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 All right. So cardio, very good. Your cardio. Turn. All right. Are you ready for your first question? I'm ready. Bring it on. I want to know what is your favorite or most used emoji? Uh, what's that? <laughs> oh, the little okay, gotcha. Yeah, emoji. I am those a, little am things a, on your phone. All right, all right, right. I am a I am a tech genius, uh, if you haven't noticed. So, but I would have to say, um, most used emoji, just probably the big grinny, toothy, smiley face. So that's that just one, you know. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's that's the one. Why? Um, I don't know, because I'm old and that's what I know. And you don't you don't know what any of the other ones mean. <laughs> right, exactly. I have yeah. to look them up, which would take longer. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're just happy. Uh, right. All right, your turn. Ready? Yep. Okay. So you finally, after all of this, this work, you get to take two weeks off. All right. Um, I know this isn't real right now, but <laughs> in our minds, right? You get to take two weeks off. Are you going to the North Shore or are you going on a North African safari? Okay, I'd love yeah. either, but definitely safari because I am a Leo and I love astrology, astrology sign, and there's lions, and I think it'd it'd be super cool. Safari, <laughs> nice. safari okay. all the way. So the Leo and the lion, I get that oh, that yeah. comes together yeah. and more adventurous, right? Kind of. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Love it. Good one. Okay, Jeremy, next question for you. Um, what was your worst subject in high school? My worst subject. Your worst in subject. High school. What were you? What were you bad at? That's a pretty easy one, actually. I don't know if I was bad, but I didn't like it. I hated it. Right? It was history. History was tough. Reading about these old dead dudes, right? But <laughs> it's actually it's kind of funny because now I'm really, really into it, and I feel like it's super important as well. History repeats itself, all these things. So now I'm kind of voracious when it comes to learning about those kinds of things. But back then, definitely easy, easy answer. History, history. for sure. Yep, yep. It was rough. It was rough. All right, third mine, and mine, mine was math, by the way. Math, really? Oh, I excel in math. And I'm still bad at it. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> All right, third and final question. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, so your career, a lot like mine, actually, has <laughs> taken, you know, twists and turns and, and winds and curves, and you haven't really gone down the typical dietitian path, right? So my question is, third and final question is, who has been like the most influential person in your career in finding that path and steering down that somewhat unique path, a mentor, a family member, a, a co colleague, whoever, who's been most influential? You had to ask a really hard question. <laughs> um, well, there, there's, there's obviously many, um, but the first person that comes to mind for me is Julie Schmidt. She was the CEO uh -huh. at Wood, Woodwind. So from a career standpoint, very influential just because she was such a strong leader and really inspirational to me to kind of follow my dreams and think outside the box. So I would say Julie Schmidt. And right now I also have to say Dr. Mark Hyman on the functional medicine uh, side, because he's such a healthcare disruptor. So nice, two, two, nice. Two Th yeah, th those are and two really great answers as well. Very familiar with Hyman. And I've had a, a couple opportunities to talk with Julie as well. So great, great. Those are, those are some great leaders. So awesome. All right. Final question for you, Jeremy. Are you ready? I'm ready. Bring it on. Of yep. course, you're, you're a foodie, you're a chef. So I have to yep. ask a food question. Okay. 
What food will you not eat? Mm, like I've eaten everything. Like never eat again or, oh no, wait. For, okay. What what comes to mind first? Got it. First thing to mind. Okay. There's um, gotta Rocky, be something. Yeah, there is. Rocky Mountain Oysters. Never eaten it. Have no interest in trying it. Um, just gonna, just gonna draw the line in the sand right there. So, yep. Um, Rocky Mountain on, Oysters. That's on my list too. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I don't know. Something about yep. it. I'm, yep. I'm, I'm all good. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that ends our rapid fire Friday. I think we did pretty good. And, awesome. um, I think everyone will enjoy getting to know us all a little bit better. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was great. We did, we did, uh, we did awesome. So happy Friday, everybody. And uh, watch us every Friday, Rapid Fire Fridays. We'll kind of alternate our team and be adding in different people along the mix as we go. So uh, join us every Friday. Have a great day. Happy Friday.